Hello everybody and welcome back for video number five in our series on fundamental computer skills. In this video we will be looking at the different options that we have to save a document that, or, that we've been working on. Now as you can see here on my desktop I have Microsoft Word open and I have some notes about Australia. You might recall from the previous video that I've been doing some research on Australia and here are the notes that I've taken so far. Now it is very important that I save this document and there are a lot of reasons for that. The first reason of course is that I might have taken these notes in the school library but I might want to work on the document at home and I need to be able to save this document so that I can take it home with me. I also need to save it just in case the computer or the program that I'm using crashes or in case there's a blackout. There are a few different reasons such as those ones that I have just mentioned that may cause the loss of whatever file you've been working on. However, if you save a file regularly, you will generally speaking be okay. And even if you do lose some information, you won't have lost all of it. So we're going to look at the different options for saving. Now, first of all, I'd like you to have a look at the very top here. Across the top you can see it says document one dash Microsoft Word. Document one is the name of this file at the moment. It's a brand new document, so the default name is document one. If I opened up a new document, just like that, you can see that it, the name has changed to document two. If I opened a new one, it changes to document three. But document one is the important piece of information. So I want to save this. So let's have a look at a few of the different options. The first one that we're going to look at is in the top left hand corner of the program. You can see it's a blue square with a white square inside of it. That is an icon of a floppy disk. A floppy disk is what we used to use to save things on before thumb drives and before the internet. Now this floppy drive icon has become the icon used to represent saving something. So if I click on that, now this is called a dialog box and you can see in the top left hand corner it says save as. Because this is a new document I need to give it a name. Now I'm going to call this Notes on Australia because that's what, I, that's what the document is about and I need to select where I'm going to save it. Now, if you are using a thumb drive, your thumb drive will appear here somewhere. But the default location, a lot of the time, for Word documents, will be here in the documents folder. If it's a video you're working on, it will be in the videos folder. But I'm using the documents folder here. So let's double click on that. And that opens up folders that are inside that. I've called it Notes on Australia. All I need to do now is click Save. And you can see that up the top, instead of Document 1, it now says Notes on Australia. So that's the first option that we have for saving a document. Now let's have a look at another option. You might have noticed when I hovered the mouse over the floppy disk icon, it said Save. But in brackets, it also had CTRL plus S. Now CTRL as you may remember is short for control and the bottom left hand key on your keyboard is the control key. Now you can see here again that I've opened up a new document the document the file name is document 4 and I'm going to use this as a test document to show you what Control S does. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control and the S key at the same time. And you can see that it has brought up the same dialog box that we saw when we clicked on the floppy disk icon. So Control S is the keyboard shortcut for saving. The other option for saving a document, a brand new document, so that you can give it a name, is to click on File in the top left hand corner and then click on save as. That will also bring up the same dialog box. 
Now save as can be very useful if you wish to change the name of the file. You may have a file called Notes on Australia, such as this one. You may wish to change the name of the file to something else that gives you more information. So I know that this information is notes on the government structure of Australia when it was first settled. So I'm going to write Australian government. I'm going to save that within my documents library and I'm going to click save. You can see that the title of the file has changed up the top and if we bring up my, my documents library you can see Australian government and notes on Australia are both there. So those are the three options for saving a, a file with a new name. Let's do a quick review. The first option to save a file is to click on the floppy disk icon. The second option is to press Control S on the keyboard. And the third option is to click on Save As in the File menu. Now, I have one more option. If I've already saved a document, but I've just made some changes. I can also click on File and click Save. That will save the document with the current name and any changes that you've made. So I can also still do Control S. I can also click on the floppy disk. And if it's still the same document, it will just save any changes that I've made. So those are the options for saving a new document. Let's have a look now at how we can save a document that we've been working on and have made some changes to. So I've decided that I don't want this paragraph at the bottom, so I delete that. To save the changes that I've made to this document, I can either click on the floppy disk icon again, I can press Control S on the keyboard, or the other option is I can click on File, and I can just click on Save. Because I want the title of this file to stay the same, I just click Save. So I'm going to click on the floppy disk icon, and you can see very briefly down the bottom that it appears saving the file, and it shows you when it does that. If it's a very big file, it might take a little bit of time, and if you've made a lot of changes, it might take a little bit of time. But a small Word document like this, it will save it very quickly. So those are the options for saving a new document, and the options for saving a document that you've been working on and have simply made changes to. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.